you you speak Arabic uh, as your mother uh, tongue? No, my mother tongue is Urdu. Because I'm from Pakistan, the national language of Pakistan is Urdu. But here in Saudi Arabia, everyone speaks Arabic language. And uh, since we are Muslims, so our holy book is also in Arabic language. So my purpose of learning Arabic language is to understand that book. Oh, nice. Yes. The Quran has many translations, but the best one is the original version. So exactly. yeah, to understand better, you need to learn Arabic and read it in Arabic. Yes. Yeah, because I've read it. I speak Spanish, too. And I've read it in English and in Spanish. And every translation has a different uh, essence. So you are Muslim? Um, no, but I was teaching English to the imam here in Honduras because he speaks Spanish. And he gave me uh, a Quran as a gift and some books. Okay. Yeah, and I read it because it's a very beautiful book. What was your experience of reading? I think it's a book of love, kindness, respect, admiration. Um, I only have positive thoughts about it. And I think that everyone should read at least a little bit of it uh, to understand the true essence of Muslim and stop judging based on what you read and what you see in the media. Precisely. Because Muslims these days are very different from mm -hmm. uh, what is written in the Quran. Yes. They, they, are, they are not at all practicing Muslims. Yes. Um, I feel that, they, that some people are interpreting the Quran uh, the, in a way that su suits them best not the way it's supposed to be interpreted. Um, that's what I feel. Just like the Bible, the Christian Bible, people read it and they just manipulate the meaning so it suits their life instead of following the rules. You are basically Christian. Well, I come from a Catholic family. So, yeah, uh, that's the religion here in Honduras. Um, but I, I like to read from every religion and take... Um, the essence of love, respect, and peace of each every religion. I, I believe, um, after reading many religious books, mm -hmm. I feel that the Quran is the one that has, um, let's say, the truth. <laughs> um, because it was written, I feel that uh, the Bible had so many authors that when they Put the book together it has many contradictions okay. yeah i don't i don't know if you have you know, had the opportunity to read a little bit of the bible or study a little bit of other religions uh, no i haven't got a chance to read mm -hmm. but you know that as a muslims it is uh, the part of our faith mm -hmm. that uh, the bible is the book of allah and uh, the Prophet has read Isa He was also the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who sent him to this world. But uh, what we think, it is also written in our Quran as well, that the Holy Quran is the only book which is not altered or changed. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is the same as uh, was revealed to our Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. Unlike the other holy books, which have been changed by the people and uh, only because of their own motives. That's what I meant when I said uh, other books have many authors, many uh, ways of interpreting their meanings. Um, you, you can see that uh, when you search for the Bible, there are so many versions. The Latin American version, the... Uh, evangelic version, so many versions available. And with the Quran, you get only one. So yes. it hasn't been changed by anyone. 
yes, it has been translated to many languages, but if I search for a Spanish translation, I'm gonna find the same one everywhere, unlike the Bible. So yeah, that's what I meant that um, I feel that the Quran has most of the truth within it because it hasn't been changed. You read the same thing in Arabic and English and Spanish and Chinese. And I, I think that one of the reason of this being unchanged is that we Muslims memorize the whole Quran. Mm -hmm. So a lot of, lot of Muslims have memorized it. So even if they see any, any sort of mistake or if they hear it, so they can point it out. They can understand that this is the mistake. It shouldn't be like this. Yeah, and that is admirable. Uh, I believe that... Mm, Islam is the religion that ha that hasn't been changed, uh, even with time. And you can see that all the other religions have some separations, uh, some people that move their own way using the same book but doing different things. Uh, then you have people that believe in some books of the Bible and then the other ones not. So uh, Islam is the only religion that remains untouched. Yeah, so that, that is admirable. I really admire that. You know that in every religion, whether it's Islam or Christianity or any other religion, I personally think that if you just read them in depth, you will come to know that most of the things are the same. Yes. But, but we people have changed it. As you said, according to our own benefits or advantages, we have changed it. Yes. So this is the problem. Yes, the essence, the, problem. the essence of all of the holy books available for humanity is the same. Love and respect. Yes. Um, even with the, the Christian Bible, it says um, in the New Testament, it says that you, the only thing God requests from us is to love everyone else more than we love ourselves yes that that is the that is the let's say the basic phrase we need to remember as a christian but we usually forget it because we're judging everyone all the time <laughs> when we should be loving everyone as we love ourselves or more than what we love ourselves right. and even in this, the rights of human beings are more important even than the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you have to be very much careful with, with dealing with uh, mm -hmm. the other people. Yes, we need to be mindful and respectful of other people's rights. Um, and we forget that. Like we're always judging, we're always pointing out what's wrong with some, when other people, when sometimes we are the biggest sinners, but we're always looking what's wrong with other people. Exactly. We are always finding fault with others and we are unable to see what we are doing. Yes. We're, and if someone points out what's wrong with us, we get angry. We feel judged. 